nice we try to observe for 10 minutes who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness who decides my feeling is it me or the other we can look at it this moment we can go over the past and see in all those moments when we become uncomfortable unhappy and then what is our feeling there do we feel that the other is responsible or do we feel that I am responsible? Yeah. Any question is there, any reflection is there, you can raise hand and ask or even share. Namaste, Vaya. Shaviko, Namaste. I had to go in the park and I could uh, see oh. and there are some incidences, at least two, three incidences uh, where I feel very comfortable. And uh, so long I was blaming that other who is responsible for that. But now I could see that it is me uh, who is deciding about this discomfortability. So uh, again, when I go inside, uh, I find that the causes of this discomfortability is there are two, three incidences. So some sense incidences are related to sensation and uh, some are uh, preconditions that uh, up to that I could reach there, but after that, uh, what I should do again? Yeah, that will come in step five. <laughs> so at least okay. I need to be clear about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. that that, that and... I could. So long I was blaming other that uh, the incident happened. The other person is responsible for this. Other person is, did this thing. So many things. This thing. So now again, when I uh, again uh, that observation go inside of that, that I know this is no the other person. This is me who is deciding this uncomfortability. What are the reasons for that? Then I see that yeah, yeah there are the two types of incident that uh, some cases are related to sensation, uh, the loss of money. <clears throat> that money, if I would have. Uh, uh, gain that uh, that would create more facility or something like that. And in case of other cases, there are uh, some preconditions uh, that up to that I could reach. Yes. So we are not saying that the other is responsible or I am responsible for the situation. We are just saying that we can observe that I am responsible for my discomfort inside. It's nice. Nice there. What yeah. you are sharing is in line. Right. Only that right. I wanted to clarify on one point which you mentioned that yeah. it's not that I am responsible for the entire situation. Everybody is playing oh. a role in that situation. But right. for my discomfort inside, I am responsible. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Nice, Bhaiya. No, that means that means I am deciding the about my comfortability and discomfort. I am deciding my feeling. And my feeling is making me comfortable or uncomfortable. Right. I get irritated, I get opposed, I get anxious, I get angry. Right. Correct. It's ultimately me who is responsible for that. But again, no need to assume this. It's not that since we are reiterating this, so we tend to assume this also. No. Okay. I have to look at it afresh. Yeah. Okay. And okay. as you are mentioning, at the heat of the moment, I can pause okay. and just reflect what is happening inside me. Okay. okay. Now you see that there would be so many unfavorable moments in our home you know, uh -huh. the times in a day when situations yeah. become you know, uh, unpleasant. Now, mm -hmm. in those moments also, can I observe this? That okay, somebody is not behaving right way. Somebody is not you know, going the right way. Now, ultimately, what is disturbing me? Ultimately, if I am getting disturbed, then is the other responsible or I am only responsible? Now, whether I react or respond, whether I say something or I keep silent comes later. If I am getting uncomfortable, right, then who is responsible? It may be the case that, yeah, yeah. it may be the yeah. case that I am preconditioned in multiple ways and the other only acts as a kind of stirrer in those moments. So one stirs our imagination, right? Right. Yes, uh, in earlier, uh, I I had to see, observe the past cases, the present cases, 
but right now i feel that uh, even the what is happening during present time also some incidences of uh, the discomfort and disturbing me now right at the moment i am able to see now which was nice. not uh, yeah which was not possible earlier i in earlier i used to see the past cases but right now maybe within this few days uh, now able to see right now right at the moment what is why why i am getting discomfort or why i am getting irritated so uh, in that uh, position i find that is possible earlier i was thinking that it is not possible <laughs> yeah yeah right major so you attended workshop also no yeah i attended that uh, yeah uh, ganesh ji kanpur acha okay okay yeah in april just a few uh, last month here then i have done this uhb 1 and uhb 2 online okay nice nice dear yeah. thank you very much thank you so we can go to the content now we can discuss about that so in step 4 we are trying to find out who decides the feeling in step 1 i have become aware of the feeling i have at that moment and in steps 2 and 3 i have evaluated the feeling with this i am able to see that it is my feeling that leads to my happiness or unhappiness now the question is who is taking decision for this feeling which is the source of my happiness or unhappiness so i am asking this question to myself who is taking the decision for this feeling that is who decides the feeling the thought that i have at this moment some external physical condition some other human being or i myself now with little exploration maybe as an after thought they are able to make it out that it is me who decides the feeling the thought that i have the other person or the situation outside may act only as a trigger it is just like the i am ignited inside only that the other person put some petrol over it and i start bursting so i am when i am not comfortable i am just like that only it is a simile that i was sharing so i am ignited inside somewhat i am you know not comfortable inside anxious inside irritated inside and other person comes and says something and then i suddenly become very aggressive violent or shouting you know, i become totally aggressive in my behavior now it's not the words of the other who made me so it's not the behavior of the other who made me so no it is ultimately me but i have to observe this myself you came back home in the evening you press the bell the other is not opening the door and you start losing your temper okay you are calling somebody the other is not picking the call you start losing your temper you said something that this should happen this way only when you are not there in the room the light should be off right when you have used the bed the bed should be set right when you use the kitchen the kitchen should be set right things should be in their own place so when instructions we keep on giving and maybe the other is not following that instruction right and we tend to misbehave on all such counts because we become uncomfortable and we start blaming the other for this discomfort and because of that i feel irritated angry opposed to the other and these are minor examples right there could be some major issues also where we have been carrying some feeling of opposition deep inside for a long time isn't it so now this way ultimately i am unhappy i am blaming others also for my unhappiness so how will i develop my confidence so i may keep on justifying my state of being i may keep on saying to myself that ultimately these people have made my life a hell if they were not there in my life my life would have been much more happier right much more pleasant and thus i never try to improve myself i continue with that state i'm never able to make any qualitative shift in my imagination i am never able to contemplate on the right feeling and you see that this becomes a kind of common way of living if you look at the people in the society they may not be comfortable or happy and they are blaming others for their unhappiness whenever they have to share something uh, they will keep on blaming others for this unhappiness so find it out it is very pertinent very important so step doing steps 1 2 and 3 we have to make out this part also so it is i the self who decides the feeling the thought that i have the other human being or the situation outside may act as a trigger it may help to draw my attention 
In fact, we see that all these unfavorable situations, all these moments are somewhat a help to us. By myself, I may not be able to look into various conditioning that I'm carrying within or the uh, lack of awareness because of which I am not aware you know, that these moments make me uncomfortable. So earlier we were making a list of all those moments when we become uncomfortable situations or issues. In all those situations or issues, we can also try to make out that is that issue making me uncomfortable or when I am into that issue, I am not clear by myself what to do. And that's what makes me uncomfortable. If I'm clear, if I'm resolved, I remain comfortable. If I'm not resolved, I become uncomfortable. Situation is there. <clears throat> the same situation is there, right? But now with some exploration, I can see you know, the solution there. I can see the cause of the problem there. And then I'm not getting uncomfortable inside. But if I'm not able to see this, then I become uncomfortable, unhappy. For example, in, Amid, in my relationships, if I'm able to see clearly that intention of every human being is right, the competence may be lacking. And it does take time to develop the competence. First of all, one has to listen to the proposal, then verify, then validate. When I'm into this process, then also it is taking me so much time to develop myself. If the other is not entering into that process itself, how will the other develop one's competence? Now, this kind of thought process may start in you when you are able to see that the intention is pure. But if you're not able to see this, then we keep on reacting in our expression. And before that, we keep on blaming others for our discomfort, for our unhappiness. So the other person may only act as a trigger. And it draws our attention to my feeling inside, my conditionings inside. But ultimately, it is I, the self, who is taking the decision. On the basis of my feeling, the thought, I'm happy or unhappy. In that sense, I'm responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. If I observe this over a period of time, I'm able to see that I'm 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. Now, you'll see that for all my unhappiness, if I'm able to see that I'm 100% responsible, then in place of blaming others, I'll start working upon myself. Now, there is a flip side to it. Let me just share this as a word of caution. So what we are saying is that I am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. We are not saying that I am 100% responsible for that situation. You know, otherwise, there are some people who may start blaming oneself for that entire situation. And then they will feel depressed. If I had not asked my child to go out of the house at this point of time, then he or she might not have made accident. If I had not done this, then this unfavorable situation might not have happened. When I had, if I had done this, then I could have avoided that situation. Right? So we start blaming ourselves for the entire situation. So we are not saying this. I am not saying that we are entirely responsible for that situation. We are only saying that I am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness in that situation. In the situation, so many people are participating and everybody has a role to play. Even the physiochemical things are involved. So evaluating the situation is one thing. Evaluating the feeling in that situation is something else. When I evaluate the feeling in me in that situation, then I am able to see this. If I do not understand, I will have one kind of feeling inside me. If I understand, I will have another kind of feeling inside me. So observe this, find it out. If you have any query, any reflection, you can share. Good morning. Good morning to all. Uh, Good morning. Yes. Uh, my interest is to attend the UHV program regularly morning in the future. But my wife already told you, you have to do the exercise and walking is very important in the morning. Then I plan to decide uh, walking and do that exercise. But again, she told, uh, in the free air is very important. So you can, this is a regular exercise, the recording is there. You can again and again, the content is there. We are you wasting time, you concentrate on your health. How to handle this situation? But again and again, attend the program, I am learning the new things. This is my part. I have told many times in my wife, uh, this is uh, my way, 
this is my track but uh, she told your health is important how to handle this situation yeah so first of all if you are getting uncomfortable when wife is saying like this then you can very much observe that it is you who is responsible for the discomfort because the way you are asking so you want the solution there for example how to handle if i had the solution to this i will not feel unhappy if i do not have the solution to this i will feel unhappy so it is ultimately the presence of solution inside me which decides my feeling if i am resolved i feel happy if i am not resolved i feel unhappy so one thing you can observe here isn't it yeah so for your feeling for the discomfort inside it is ultimately you who is responsible now let us look into the entire situation so your wife is concerned about your health so it may be the case that uh, some reports medical reports have come where you know some thing must might be uh, like uh, some deficiency or something might be there in your report and the wife is concerned about your health so her intention is to keep you healthy isn't it yes she also intends to make you happy but she is clear about the program for health that if you do yoga or exercise or walk in the morning your health is going to be ensured but she may not be clear about your program for happiness her intention is fine she wants to see you healthy as well as happy but she has some idea about the health but may not have idea about the happiness now you are trying to attend the morning session because this makes you happy makes you resolved right so now i can have a dialogue with the spouse and then try to resolve how health and happiness both can be ensured so for that multiple mechanisms can be drawn maybe you can listen to the content while walking also while doing yoga also if she feels that you should not be confined in a room you can go outside in the park and in outside i am network that also i am trying i am saying these all options are there you may try to see again you are spending only 1 hour in the morning listening to the morning session so you can wake up little more early and do the exercises first or after the session is over you can do exercises okay if some household chores are there you can prepare something in the evening itself so that she does not face any problem in the morning so all those mechanisms can be drawn so one part is to be able to see that i am responsible for my discomfort the second part is to be able to see the intention of the other and the level of competence of the other the third part is at the level of thought i can you know, draw so many mechanisms so many ways of fulfilling the purpose and for that we can have a dialogue and decide this is quite possible we can also do walking and you know yoga in the evening also so that is also possible so you can just share with your wife that i want to spend at least 2 hours or 4 hours every day working for my right understanding and right feeling because this only ensures harmony between me and you this only ensures harmony within me and this is also a possible that it will ensure harmony in you so my first priority in life is right understanding and i i have to spend time for that with right understanding and i have to ensure health so this right understanding only ensures the feeling of self regulation in me and then i can draw a program for health so doing yoga or exercise is only some mechanism the basic feeling that ensures health in me self regulation maybe i do yoga for an hour every day right and then eat all those things which uh, make me unhealthy then what will happen so you can also discuss with your wife that two things are required self regulation in the self and health in the body only by working for health in the body will not work so for that right understanding is required so being assured of the intention of your wife you can have a dialogue with your wife and then resolve the issue now if this whole thing is clear to you you will not feel uncomfortable okay if the feeling is clear that the intention of wife is fine okay my intention is also fine only that we have to derive some mechanism to fulfill it right so you can do it comfortably you can draw the mechanism comfortably you can read something you can get some idea from someone okay you can talk with your wife all those possibilities are there but we may not be able to do this because the moment somebody comes and says this to me i start getting irritated i start boiling inside and if i start boiling inside 
then I'm not able to resolve myself also and resolve the situation also. It is fine, Bia. Okay, I also informed to attend this program my wife, but uh, she told uh, physical physically is more important than this part. So this way the problem uh, unable to solve. It. So the way we discuss in the workshop, no, in a similar manner, you can discuss with your wife also that how do we make out what is more important okay so the physical facilities are there but if there is some heated debate between you and your wife both of you are going to be unhappy so the physical facilities are assured but still unhappiness is there why is that it is because of lack of right understanding right feeling even for the child if you are not able to ensure the right understanding and just keep on arranging for money for the physical facilities for the child Will it shape the life of the child? Certainly not. So all those things you can share with your wife also. The way we have been exploring in the workshop. Okay, I will try. Thank you. Nice, nice, Bija. But for that, I'll say that you have to have some more clarity. So we met in the UHP three workshop also, and it is good that you are attending the workshops. You are attending the morning sessions consistently. But I think some more clarity is required. If you have that clarity, then you can clarify to the other also. Hi, Bia. Program. Yeah. Nice, nice, Bia. So it seems that all of us are resolved at this point and that I am responsible for my unhappiness or happiness. That's why we are not finding many reflections today. Nice to see. We can go to the next slide. So with this observation, now I'm able to draw two important conclusions. I become willing to take responsibility to make effort for my self-development, for my own transformation. And I can get over complaining against others as I can see the other human beings or situations are not responsible for my unhappiness. Ultimately, I am responsible. So once I'm able to see that I am deciding my feeling and if my feeling is getting spoiled, then ultimately I am responsible. So I start taking responsibility. That yes, now I have to work for my self development. How long will this continue? When I was a child, then also I felt unhappy you know, due to these things. Even today, I am feeling unhappy. Even in the old age, I feel unhappy. Right? So, ultimately, what shift is taking place inside me? What development I am doing? So, I start owning that responsibility for my self-development. That, yes, I have to work upon myself. I cannot continue like this. I might have acquired a lot of physical facilities. Okay? Or I might have been able to influence so many people in the society. But ultimately, I'm not developing as a self because the same problems are persisting in me. The same kinds of conditionings are persisting in me. I'm getting still unhappy, uncomfortable. So I need to come out of this situation. So I have to work for my development. The second thing is I get over complaining about others. I might be complaining against others within me, in my own imagination, so many times in a day. The other did this, the other did that, the other did not you know, work according to me, the other should not have said this to me, the other should have done this to me, the other is not taking care of me, the other is you know, spoiling my life, the other is doing this or that. We may be, might be groaning inside, we might be you know, always complaining, complaining against the other. So I can get over this and you see that when you are there with yourself and you have these kinds of complaints inside against others, you start getting unhappy, you start getting uncomfortable. Being with yourself becomes a very difficult task for you. Yeah, Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Bhaiya, anyway, my question is not related to sharing, uh, but my question is related to the dreams. What is the role of self in dreaming? So who is dreaming? You or the body? Yeah, self is deciding. Self is dreaming. Yes. And uh, thus when you compare with the situations or whatever is exactly happening with the dream, is it what previous things are influencing or they are repeating? Or something else? That is the point here, what I want to know. So one possibility is that there might have been some unfavorable situations, some unpleasant moments when you felt unhappy and then you are carrying a baggage inside you. 
so during your dreams the fears the uh, anxiety is coming out and you are thinking on those lines so there might be certain things you know where you have been unhappy and you have not been able to share with others or where you might not have been able to get resolved so this is one possibility and then you might have so many aspirations also inside which might not have been fulfilled so those aspirations also start coming up during our dreams so it so happens that when we are sleeping our interaction with the body becomes dull so things which are there inside me start surfacing out in our dreams yeah my yeah, that uh, what i dreamt yesterday uh, that early morning today it was no way related to any aspirations and no way uh, related to any the things which happened immediately but it was might be i can say it was the thing which was uh, related very long back that is fine see long back only means that for a long time you have not been able to explore it so it got triggered due to something for example uh, you saw an accident when you were a child and then you forgot it right but you were not resolved and then suddenly you got read a news that this happened and this triggered your old imagination and since you are not resolved you have certain question that what will happen if i meet an accident what will happen to my family what will happen to my you know all these achievements that i have have now what will happen to my body those concerns are there and then they start surfacing out in the dreams this could be one possibility about what you are sharing yeah 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 uh anyway i think that problem was resolved actually but i think still i was uh, having the dream uh, related to the past thing uh the the yeah 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 you'll see that the problem got resolved outside but inside me i might not be resolved yeah that might be the possibility bhaiya that yeah yeah thank you bhaiya thank you very much nice bhaiya for example your neighbor parked his car in your parking lot okay and then you felt angry you went to the other you asked him to remove the car he argued but somehow the situation got resolved the car was removed right but within you some more apprehensions are there that today it get resolved got resolved tomorrow it may happen again what will happen if i am not there only my family is there and this person starts misbehaving because of the incident that happened today so so many fears are cropping up now now those fears will start triggering some dream in you yes yes that But, probability will be there bhaiya yes so we have so many fears like we were discussing earlier also no so many fears apprehensions doubts issues of anxiety right and we are not resolved it's only that the outside situation is favorable so i'm not facing uh these conditionings inside me though they are deeply seated and still working but they are not surfacing out, out because the situation is not so unfavorable tomorrow when the situation becomes unfavorable they start surfacing out for example one might not have used any abusive word for a long time but maybe some situation is there it, the person gets so heated in that moment that he starts using some abusive word now one may feel that how come i use this kind of word i never use any profane language for the other how come this happen but you are unresolved there and due to that it happened only that the heat was not so much earlier now at that moment the heat got you know uh, increased to that extent so one used some profane language all these things might be there so when we start looking into our imagination our feeling we are also able to see the conditionings seated deep inside we'll try to do this in step 5 so we have to keep on observing Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Very clear, Bhaiya. Thank you very much. Nice, Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste to all. Namaste. So, Bhaiya, just to know that uh, Lachlan Bhaiya has uh, all that. Earlier also I have shared that when I was very much aware of this body and health, so I used to go for a lot of exercise and walking. 
but when this self regulation and all that uh, started attending morning sessions so i've concentrated now more on the physical work and the self regulation because the physical work is the output also and the exercise also is there so with that my body has become more leaner and healthier although and people see they all come and who, who meet me after so many days sometimes they feel that you have got very weak but uh, i feel energy is um, intact and uh, so instead of doing the exercise and all that so even now i am my headphone is on and i'm doing some physical work at home because there's so many physical works at home and even at the college i don't sit in my office and keep on participating so in the relationship and it is being body is being maintained by itself now i don't have to uh, pay extra attention for the body i feel and even in the eating and all as we say so this is one sharing i wanted to say yeah. nice way so, nice and any any and then second about the surakant bhaiya like dreams before you hv if i if i recall i i used not to have any dreams although dreams would have been there but i was not aware i think but now even i also have lot of dreams and i even i remember them so is this the reason that more awareness has come now um, we are more aware earlier we were not aware what is going on inside i was not aware of the self so i was not even able to see the dreams or even i was not even the dreams may be there but i am not able to remember them so this is this can be uh, you know uh one point dear yes bhaiya so now that we start questioning things questioning our conduct so fresh issues do crop up so earlier for example if somebody was misbehaving i also misbehaved and i felt that yes nothing has set right i did tit for tat and now everything is okay but now i am not doing tit for tat so if somebody is misbehaving then i am trying to find the solution on these lines the intention is pure the competence is lacking so what to do now when i try to do this and the exploration is still due then it may keep me active even while i'm sleeping so this is one possibility so earlier we were living with unawareness now that we are aware and we are trying to ensure right feeling every moment so we have so many now new kinds of questions coming up within us and we are not resolved on all those issues so the exploration is still continuing so you'll see that the exploration does continue okay it's not that we'll just eat and go to sleep right as we used to do earlier and there i have... can see uh, i can uh, i'm sorry what you are saying i can see now more of the uh, dreams are about the relationships like the people whom we are related but we uh, Could not remember them and all that. I see them also in my dreams now. So I think this is what you are saying that now we are aware, we are seeing the relationship. So that kind of dreams are also there. So I can read, I can read like that as well. Saying yes, yes. So when we become aware of all the conditionings inside us, all the assumptions inside us, then we are able to see that we have so much <coughs> work to do upon oneself. Earlier I was ignorant. in fact this is going to get extended also now earlier i was ignorant so i assuming that everything is right now when we are able to investigate then we can see that so many problems are there inside me at the level of feeling so many doubts assumptions are there and i have to work upon all these so this may you know somewhat uh, spoil my sleep also at times that might happen but good part is that we are exploring so gradually will get resolved it is better than becoming unaware uh, nice yes bhaiya you uh, even now i feel that i have a deep sleep like i was better sleep than than the earlier that also is gain of one thank you bhaiya yes yes when you are resolved you will have a deeper sleep yes that is quite true <laughs> nice so we can yes, conclude the english part now ji bhaiya and go to the hindi session ji